At Sejong Center near Guangmen Plaza, visitors can enjoy an exhibition by an artist known as the Crown Prince of Pop Art. Philip Colbert's work was recently on display at London's Saatchi Gallery. Kim Bo-kyung provides a sneak peek. Right next to the Gwanghwamun Plaza, outside the main entrance to Sejong Center, stand two lobsters, made by contemporary British artist Philip Colbert. Inspired by Salvador Dali's lobster telephone, pop artist Philip Colbert made his alter ego lobster. Using this art protagonist, he invites visitors into the lobster's own virtual reality world, Lobsterland, a parallel universe in the desert. Dubbed as the godson of Andy Warhol, his previous Hunt painting series incorporated all different kinds of popular culture, including emojis and internet error messages, alongside work by historical masters such as Picasso. The hunting series shows society's super-saturated culture of consumption. Many things are overloaded on the canvas, but if you take a closer look, they all look familiar. Through this, we can see how much information we are consuming in this day and age. But because of the stresses caused by the pandemic, Colbert came up with a new collection to help deliver a message of hope. Among the collection is a piece called Still Life with Sunflowers, inspired by Vincent van Gogh's famous painting. It is said that van Gogh drew the sunflowers while waiting for Paul Gauguin, an artist who had a lot of respect for, to come to his workshop. Colbert wanted to deliver the message that one day, if we wait patiently, we will be able to get our daily lives back. Another piece to look at is Colbert's TV robot lobster, a tribute to South Korean Peng Nam Jun, who is widely recognized as being the father of video art. Peng Nam Jun pioneered media art into a new art genre, and his famous works such as Gulliver will be shown to the public for the first time. Philip Colbert was inspired by Beck's work and came up with his new artwork. With surrealism brought into reality, visitors might be able to feel like they are in different world away from the pandemic. Kim Bo-kyung, Arirang News.